Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. We had to do a little bit of a change in format today. Unfortunately I cannot get any of my software to work while playing and recording Star Wars Squadrons. So we've just got a little introduction here. Enjoy the video. We have two missions we complete. One as the uh, Empire and one as the Rebellion. So it's great. The second mission is very exciting. I will talk a few uh, times in the video, but really it's just about the gameplay. So, hope you're having a great day. Enjoy the video. I'll see you at the end of this episode for a bit of a chat. Take care, guys. Agent Thorne may not have known the precise location of Project Starhawk, but the intel has pointed us in the right direction. Then we will proceed as planned. Oh, hello. Captain, is this the new pilot? Yes. A valuable addition to the squadron, wouldn't you say? Indeed. Marvelous work securing Agent Thorne. You've exceeded your previous statistics by... Oh, forgive me. I'm so familiar with your profile that I forgot we haven't actually met. I'm LT-514, Imperial Intelligence. I'm eager to analyze your performance in the upcoming mission. Captain Carroll, shall we proceed with the briefing? Imperial Intelligence, eh? Interesting. Agent Thorne's intel has paid off. We've learned that a convoy of New Republic engineers is traveling from Hosnian Prime to Project Starhawk's secret base. Their chartered path leads them straight through the contested territory of De Severo. According to our new information, the convoy will attempt to conceal its presence in a local debris field. Follow the convoy through the wreckage and allow them to jump to hyperspace. We will calculate all possible destinations along their trajectory to find Project Starhawk. You must not be detected. We cannot risk losing this convoy. Local Imperial forces have been advised not to interfere. Once the convoy is clear of the debris, it will leave the system, pointing us toward their hidden headquarters. Once we have their jump vector, return to the Overseer and prepare for immediate redeployment. Okay. I've already contacted the Imperial authorities at De Severo. They're aware of the situation. You're certain he won't interfere? My records indicate that Captain Amos is trigger-happy, to say the least. His fleet is already in ruins after initiating several battles that were frankly quite unnecessary. Captain Amos is... enthusiastic. I'm hoping he's not a fool. The Empire can't afford to lose assets at this stage in the war. I agree wholeheartedly, Captain. After your impressive work at Hosnian Prime, this should be an effortless mission for you, pilot. Yes. My faith in you was not misplaced. Make sure it stays that way. That will be all. Really? There's a bit of attitude there. Alright, let's begin. A simple in and out mission should be painless for us. But stay on your toes. You never know what cheap tricks the rebels will pull. De Severo. Hmm. Long way from civilization. I haven't seen the Outer Rim since the insurrection at Krigo. Well, let's get to it then. Get to your tie. The captain has a personal stake in Project Starhawk. A vendetta with Lyndon Javes. Take it from me, nothing motivates like betrayal. I've seen too many good pilots. Friends turned traitor. I put them out of their misery. But there's always more out there. Iden Versia. Erica Quell. Lyndon Javes. They're not just traitors. They're loose ends. Problems to solve once the war is done. We should go. She's a very angry person, that one. Some droids. 
Of course, someone else wants to talk to us. It's good to see Admiral Sloan's spy network is intact. We can't operate in the dark. Half of the Empire's fracturing is down to commanders operating in isolation, without a grander strategy. They forget we're all one Empire, or should be. Perhaps annihilating this Starhawk will bring us together. You see Admiral Sloan's overall goal, yes? Unify, purify, and inspire. When we defeat this new Republic, we'll have survived the Crucible and come out stronger for it. On to bigger things. Okay, look at this magnificent shuttle. Is it a shuttle? Anyway, let's begin. The TIE Reaper is a specialist model made for utility and squadron support. If the enemy sees one, they know they're in trouble. With this loadout, it's built to disable enemy fighters with ion lasers. I've also equipped jamming tech to keep you off enemy radars and tactical shields to protect allied TIEs. Squadron mask. Enemies can usually spot you on sensors from a long range, but there are certain components that allow us to stay stealthy. Okay, cool. So, we're on their radar. Let's use those debris clusters as cover and close in on the convoy. But don't boost your engines, it puts the entire mission at risk to fly so brash. I'm smart. Alright, guys, so if you're wondering how I can look around the cockpit here. I'm using a Track IR5 system. It is magnificent. I highly suggest you get one. Especially if you're playing uh, American Truck Simulator. I see a few guys using it for that. But yeah, it just makes the immersion of our Star Wars Squadron so much better. Just to protect rebel engineers. Why not destroy them? Stop those gearheads from reaching their destination. Patience, Von Rick. We'll have plenty of new targets once we locate Project Starhawk. Yes, sir. You're right. It's smarter to hit them at the source than slow them down. Move to the next debris cluster. So happy Wednesday guys. I hope you're having a great week. Slow down. If you're spotted, this mission will have been for nothing. Overseer, we're in position. Hold, Titan. Patience. Remember what we learned at the Battle of Bashar? How could I forget? We strike when the moment is right, not simply because we can. Attention! The Star Destroyer Tormenta is emerging from hyperspace near the debris field. Oh no. He can't be serious. Captain Amos, what is the 
meaning of this? You're letting our enemy escape, Captain Carroll. I will not show the same mercy. Fire the missiles! We can't lose this convoy. Titan, shoot down the Tormentor's missiles. Captain Amos, you are compromising a delicate mission. Delicate? This is war. Snuffing out this new Republic is the only mission. Hurry, Titan 3. Destroy those missiles. That colossal idiot. Convoys alluded to our presence. No way we'll trap their jump now. Good shot. Captain Amos, this is foolish. The Tormentor is severely damaged. It's still capable of destroying a few rebel ships. Just look at the wreckage around you. I see TIE fighters out there. Shattered. Broken. Yours, I assume. Whoa! Every victory has its price.
Thank you. Titan, the Rebels have scrambled another fighter squadron. They're truly desperate now. We'll finish off their fighters. Titan 3, defend the shuttles. Joining your position. Here we are, we're just escorting these shuttles back. Um, again, we're, we're playing on story mode, so it's not difficult. Not that much anyway. We're just here to see the storyline really and experience this beautiful game. Again, looking around in the cockpit, it's so good. So good. Shield for you. But yeah, um, unfortunately, when I was uh, playing the game, I had all my software recording everything, but the uh, voice recorder just would not work. Um, it's only this game that it's uh, happened, so I'm unsure if it's related to the game. Uh, there was a couple of updates to Star Wars Squadrons. And we have the same issue with The Sims 4, Journey to Batu. So, I think it's an EA thing. The Overseer can handle the shuttle from here, Titan. Good work. So yeah, unfortunately we're just going to have to um, use this kind of uh, concept for the rest of this series. Data is safely aboard the Overseer. Decrypting it now. of a Star Destroyer. Well, that was great. Titan, we've recovered the sector coordinates for the Starhawk dockyards, but the rest of the data banks are empty. Engineers must have wiped the rest when Captain Amos blew our cover. They were so close. But idiot Amos deserves to go down with his ship. Knowing the sector at least narrows our search. Vindit can't hide forever. Titan, Eliminate the convoy. Let Linda know we're coming for him. All right. Well, that was fun. But, uh, yeah, the next mission is really, really good. So, uh, let's, let's continue. Hit 
pal. Over here. Attention all droids. Power surges have been reported on deck six. Hey, there you are. Was looking for you back at the dockyards. Instead, I had to hang out with a bunch of engineers. They told me a whole convoy of new engineers got intercepted by the Empire. No survivors. Sounds like they had someone on the inside at Hosnian Prime. Give them all the details. As you can imagine, everyone at the dockyard is pretty spooked. I got a Pazak game planned for them later, to help boost morale. Gotta do our part, right? Say, between us, something's up. Something bigger than missing engineers. Ardo ain't talking, and the boss has been shut up in the briefing room all day. I feel like he'd tell us if it was just about the lost engineers. Nah, this is something else. My money's on some kind of unfinished business. Like a dark secret he left behind when he skipped out on the Empire. Or not. <laughs> what would I know, huh? Whatever it is, it's gotta be something he can't fix with a giant battleship. Why don't you head up to the briefing room? The boss might open up to you. This guy's such a troublemaker. Oh, hello, droid. You're right, Lyndon. The contacts verified your suspicions. It's her. I knew it could only be Teresa Carroll. Her mark is all over these attacks. We know her style. You do realize there's only one reason she would attack Hosni and Prime in the engineering convoy. She's searching for Project Starhawk. That's why I've already taken steps to stop her. Before she can find the Nadiri dockyards. Before anyone else gets hurt. Lyndon. What have you done? Relax, Otto. All I did was send Teresa a message. One she can't ignore. An old protege of mine, Teresa Carroll, is leading the Empire's search for Project Starhawk. She won't stop until it's destroyed. So I've initiated a plan. I sent a message that we know was intercepted by an Imperial listening post hidden near Esselus. What was the message? Bait for Teresa. And now that the Imperial post has served its purpose, we're ready for part two. If we destroy that listening post, Teresa will think we have something to hide and follow that message to the letter. Vanguard, I want you to take Y-Wings with heavy ordnance to that post in Esselus and bomb it to oblivion. A Corvette will join you to draw Imperial fire. Gunny will support and resupply our bombers. These are your targets. We've identified the receivers along the hull as weaker areas. Destroy them all. Additionally, destroy the thermal regulation systems along the exterior trench and any dishes atop the listening post. If you pull this off, we'll rob the Empire of a valuable asset, and then Teresa will fall right into our trap. Okay. Teresa Carroll was my second in command at Fostar Haven. She was my protege. She's gone from a Coruscant street orphan to captaining her own Star Destroyer. The Empire gave her everything, and she'll do anything to defend it. That's why I'm keeping certain details quiet. With Teresa in the game, any leak is a risk. Just trust me a little longer. Head to the hangar. Zarelda should have your ship almost ready. I have to say, the Commander's plan is quite clever. All this secrecy and subterfuge, it's almost... Imperial. I know the New Republic strives to be better than the Empire, but... You must admit their tactics are effective. Not that we should adopt them, of course, but this is war. Sometimes you have to think like your enemy in order to defeat them. We're lucky the commander is using his tactical brilliance for our side. Let's focus on the mission. Okay, let's go. Uh, 
Ah, uh, Keo. When Javes talks about Carol, you can feel it, right? He must have cared about her greatly to feel such pain. I don't think it's a coincidence that the Empire sent Teresa after Javes. This feels personal. They must both be hurting. And hurt can so easily turn to hate. Hate that cannot be healed has no place in the galaxy. If fighting it has become the only option, so be it. Are you ready? Oh, here we go, a Y-Wing. Exciting. Y-Wings are built to carry bombs and other heavy explosives. It makes them slower, but they pack a punch against large targets and capital ships. into oblivion, right? For the safety of our new battleship, and for no other reason. Look at this. Temperance, this is Vanguard Squadron. We're closing in on the listening post now. Excellent. Upon arrival, you should be able to overhear some Imperial chatter. You can thank Ardo and his spy network later. Let's form up with our Corvette. It'll run interference during the strike. Look at all these asteroids. Listening post in the middle of nowhere. How'd the boss find this place again? He sent a message, specifically hoping the Empire would intercept it and reveal the outpost. They took the bait. Talk about a long shot. No way he could have known that would work. Unless the message he sent seemed so enticing the Empire had no choice but to intercept. <sighs> what could be that enticing? That's the thing. Jays won't tell us. But it's a seed that will sprout into a trap. Let's focus on this mission and worry about the details of the trap later. Man, this is beautiful. Look at all of this. Look at that Corvette. My goodness. You think the Empire built this listening post just to help them find the Starhawk? This one, perhaps, but it isn't the last listening post eavesdropping on the galaxy. Well, they do seem hell-bent on finding us. I bet the Empire cannot stand that we're building a new ship out of their old ones. There's our listening post. I'll jam Imperial sensors on approach. I love it. They'll never see us coming. Let's make them regret eavesdropping on the New Republic, huh? Here we go. And just like that, we're hidden from Imperial sensors. Follow me, Five. We'll lead the bombing run. Grace and I will take care of station defenses and starfighter patrols. Here we go, Five. Give them everything you got. Good, you're almost there. On my mark, it's bombs away. Now! What? It's a raid! Alert tide patrols! Nicely done. You're a natural five. Now to bombard the rest of the receivers. Get the broadcast system running. We need to call reinforcements. Uh-oh, quick! Take down those dishes before they can make that distress call! Squadron, target the dishes on top of the station. Empire can't call reinforcements without. I don't care if we're under attack! Get the broadcast system up so I can call for help! Dish destroyed! Well done! Is the broadcast system working? Good! I'm 
distress call. <laughs> nice shooting, Clive. Those Imperials are on their own. Okay, coming your way with a resupply. Nice work. Imps won't be calling any reinforcements today. is pretty slow. These green arrows come next to it. That's letting me know to drop my bombs.
on, I'm trying to sort out these tie fighters. Increase power to engines, and you will see why very shortly. This is where you need your engine boost. I heard that from all the way out here. Get moving, Here we go. Quick, the vent is closing. Oh, the door's closing. Go, go, go. go guys i hope you enjoyed the video please uh leave a comment down below if you're having troubles recording star wars squadrons uh, i'd love to know if it's uh able to be worked around anyway enjoy the rest of your week uh i will see you friday for another video take care guys bye